Welcome back. Hey, this is your old pal Rosser. We've got a bit of a conundrum here, folks. In order to make this a real two-player, we're going to have to use a continue. Which means I'm going to have to take a few hits. Yeah, we don't we don't share lives, so we're just going to burn through a continue to take a drink. Yeah. Luckily, I take more hits than Bruce Campbell. Yeah, if we wanted to take turns playing levels, we could always just do Mario, but... This game is a lot more fun, not to mention a lot harder, doing it this way. Here we go. Moving back. For those of you just joining us, this game is a bit more difficult on co-op, but there's some new tricks you can use, too. Yeah, friendly fire it means I can kill you whenever I want. Well, I can't directly damage you, but I can stun you or do any number of things. In this game, getting stunned in the middle of a fight is a pretty surefire way to get hit. Look out, ball bearing bears. Yep. I think I better grab and arm myself with the box. Yep. those pesky water faucets that Gadget was going on about during the cutscene. How useful. Because as video game players, we never would have figured out to jump on things to progress. Right? Seems obvious enough. Too obscure. Nice dodge. This area gets tricky with the bees. Ooh, don't want to go through here unarmed. Or be life. That was a close one. Yeah, we're both at one now. Although we have both have the same amount of lives. Here, I'll go first, just you have one hit. Yeah, you might need to take some hits. Although you probably could push me off a ledge if you wanted to. That would be wrong. Speaking of wrong. Like that. For a magical journey. See, I have a P beside my letter in the top left there. That means I can lift apples without any detriment to my jumping, even though I'm still sweating. Yep. I'm glad you cleared that up, because I've been wondering. It's kind of useless, because you can't hide inside an apple like this, so what's the point of even using it? That is some really specific life advice. Someone should write that down. Well, there, inside an apple. well, there are some enemies that take two hits, so I'd assume the apple would take them out in one, but... Okay, let's play really defensively here. Good. If possible. Oh, you're not dead yet. Well, you are, but... This is a lot harder than it looks to be two player. Wow. Well, this boss is one of the harder ones in the game anyway, just because of all the guys running around. Yes, I agree. Aw, uh, failed. Out of plan? <laughs> that didn't work out too well. Heck, thinking it's already. Gaming fans do as we say, not as we do. God those things. Oh, look on the bright side. If you ever have doubts that Let's Play fans like seeing people take hits, just think of all those I want to be the guy words. Exactly. That was intentional. Oops. Yeah, we're probably actually pretty good at this game single player. It's just hard to coordinate. Either one of us can beat this game quite easily single player. We know because we've been practicing. But what's the fun in that? Yes, anyone who's been watching my uh, my walkthroughs in the past know that there's a lot of cussing and frustration involved. Most of the time. Well, you play hard 
games that are decent and not really the best. To tell you the truth, most of the time I just play whatever I used to have in my local video store growing up. Yeah, Rygar is one I never played back in the day, so I don't know much about it. It looks hard. That may have been my fault back there. Well, those bees are cheap no matter what you do. Yep. Sometimes you can take them out. Well, one of us took the bee out. I think it was you. And then you stunned me. I don't know why I jumped into that guy, quite frankly. Doesn't seem like the thing to do. I thought it was a bear. We'll go with that. What the? That bomb just popped on my head. Yeah, they explode. Okay, let's try this again. With 90% less fail. So far, no good. Well, the mini aliens always go the opposite direction from each other, and I don't know. It's really a matter of not stepping on your co-player in this fight. Yeah, because even walking into each other, you can push the guy into. Yeah. Yeah, I skipped the one up on purpose here, because it looks like we're skewed again. I probably have zero lives, and you have none. Lives, lives. Oh, that's what all screening is for. Yeah, it looks like we're out of time, but I guess we'll do more next time. We gotta do that level twice, because it sucked. Maybe an infinite lives code would help here, because we're gonna run out real quick. <laughs> Not something I normally do, but in a walkthrough like this. Where I'm killing you and you're killing me half the time. Yep. Sounds good. It's a collaboration of the minds. See you later.